there are people who are giving me information and they're telling me who you are. And I would encourage you to stop it, okay? I'll just tell you that it's being watched. The point of the phone call is stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Are you fucking retarded or something? Look out for Charlie. I've been talking about dangerous information a lot. You know, whenever I see it, I like to point it out. And just recently, I put out this video on uh, Stephen Marlowe, the guy that thought that his neighbors were doing things and went and did something heinous. It's a pretty scathing review of this guy and what he did. And uh, after that, I was listening to some interviews with some people. I'm not trying to be a dick here. What I'm trying to do is point out that if somebody doesn't know, they shouldn't say that they know. This is an interview I was listening to, and this guy was describing what had happened to him. Now, I'm going to play it for you, and then I want to point out a couple things. It's not the whole thing. I've just clipped what he said and isolated it. So check it out. There was a time in 2004, I believe, I was getting voice to skull, and I know who was doing it. It was someone doing it in a nearby house. Okay. He says there was a time in 2004 that he was getting voice to skull, and he knows knows that it was coming from a nearby house and it was the um the navy fight song and uh the guy so it was the navy fight song that he was hearing the navy fight song and uh the guy worked for naval intelligence so he's saying that it was coming from a nearby house he knows it and i know who was doing it, it was someone doing it in a nearby house and the guy who was doing it was ex-naval intelligence worked for naval intelligence so he knows this he knows it, and then he asks this guy. Do you find that to be uh, of any significance? If it happens to be of any significance. Now, this guy is really nice to him, but explains, look, this is a trick. It's tricking you. It's not something local. And he's really nice to him and explains the whole thing. But I want you to remember, he says that he knows. And I know who was doing it. Was someone doing it in a nearby house? He knows who was doing it. Now, after this person explains it to him and lets him off easy, he backpedals. It's just a guess. I mean, I guessed, you know, that was my guess. It wasn't that. And I'll tell you this. I couldn't get away from it. And it went on for about, you know, a couple of weeks. So it was a guess, but he knew who it was. And I know who was doing it. Was someone doing it in a nearby house? He knew it. But the truth is, he was just guessing. It's just a guess. I mean, I guessed, you know, that was my guess. It wasn't that. And I'll tell you this, I couldn't get away from it. And it went on for about, you know, a couple of weeks, maybe a little longer. And then it went away. I'll tell you this, I couldn't get away from it. So he says he couldn't get away from it. If he couldn't get away from it, it should have been obvious to him that it wasn't somebody in a nearby house doing it to him. That's impossible. If you can't get away from it, it's not coming from a nearby house. But what I'm saying is... If this guy hadn't have let him off easy and called him out on it and said, no, it's not coming from the neighbor's house, he would have stuck with, and I know. And I know who was doing it. Was someone doing it in a nearby house? It is not somebody local doing these kind of things. There are people online running around going, I've got the weapon right here. And it's like some 1960s, 1970s police radar gun. And they're saying, this is what they're using some radar gun that they found that somebody picked up at a swap meet or something. If those people sent me a recording, I could prove that they were the exact same signals that are coming from everywhere else. This guy said he knew. He knew where it was coming from, and this guy was ex-naval intelligence. But the truth was, he didn't know at all. It's just a guess. I mean, I guessed, you know, that was my guess. So remember that. When these people are talking this stuff, they don't know. They're guessing. So right after I made the video on that, I was sent this video to check out. And what is the title? Radiation Poisoning from Neighbor. So this comes from people giving it to other people, giving it to other people who say they know what they're talking about, but don't really know what they're talking about. Please remember that. And this video cleverly talks about every single symptom that I've ever talked about, just about, and somehow they find a way to blame it on the neighbors. And let me add that I'm quite convinced that there are people out there that don't have your best interest at heart. 
that are going around and posting this stuff intentionally. I'm not saying all of them, but there are people out there that say the most outlandish things, and when you read them, really read them, it is totally and completely made up. And then they say their neighbor is doing it. So just please pay attention to that. It is not designed with your best interest at heart. Now, there's something I need to clarify. In the part two of the Michael Cravey video, we cannot forget Michael Cravey. I say that detectives said that Cravey was looking for Potter because Cravey believed the weather was being controlled and manipulated by satellites. And I said it was silly. Well, a lot of people seem to misunderstand that. And they left comments saying that, you know, the weather is being controlled by satellites. Well, I'm not saying that geoengineering isn't real. What I am saying is the simple statement, Cravey believed the weather was being controlled or manipulated by satellites, is a ridiculous statement. And it is made to make him sound crazy because it's an overly simplified comment. I even showed in uh, the pinned comment how these statements can be oversimplified or have things added to them to make them sound crazy. So you have to be careful of that. That's all I was pointing out. Now, let me show you an audio piece from the taking of Patty Hearst that I was just watching tonight. Check this out. The tapes were sent to the CIA headquarters to, to be listened to by blind people whose hearing is extremely acute. And they heard things in the background that the, the ordinary ear would never pick up. So they were talking about the tapes that Patty Hearst had sent where she is talking to her parents and the authorities about different things and they're saying that they were listened to by blind people because blind people have very acute hearing and this pertains to a lot of what goes on in my videos and I was just talking about it in the subliminal video the subliminal 9-11 country song video where somebody with a tuned ear can hear way better than just some bozo that says I don't hear anything dude these are blind people, and you don't have to be blind. You just have to have tuned ears, and you can hear almost anything. You know, that's what people tend to forget, and they perfectly understood it back then. All people's hearing is different, and your hearing can get stronger and more tuned as time goes on. Even the older you get, you don't just go deaf. You know, they want people to think that. So listen to this again. The tapes were sent to the CIA headquarters to, to be listened to by blind people whose hearing is extremely acute. And they heard things in the background that the, the ordinary ear would never pick up. So they were listening for maybe a train way in the back of the tape, maybe somebody else talking. All these different audio cues that could clue them into where they were, where it was taped, or what was going on. And people with good ears can hear that. People with bad ears cannot. And it's just a simple fact. So when someone comes here and goes, I don't hear anything, that doesn't mean shit, dude. It just means you have bad ears and you need to get the shit out of your ears and get them tuned. People have been leaving comments saying, you know, everybody is talking about frequency. And I've been having uh, email conversations with some people about that as well, that all these people are talking about frequencies and you know graphene and all these different things out there and I do not believe that this is a good thing I am all for critical mass and mass awareness of this however a great majority of this information out there is bad information so I firmly believe that there is an effort out there to take control of the wheel and take control of the narrative before it hits critical mass I find it weird that these people can come out with these videos and suddenly have thousands and thousands of views. Even when I had 500 subscribers, I still got way more views than I get now. Way more. So, you know, things are being repressed and other things are being pushed. And I just believe that this is bad somehow. So keep that in mind. You know, it's a good thing that people are thinking about frequency, but there is something nefarious to this, and I really believe that. That's it for now. Look out for Charlie. They're just frequencies, dude. Man-made frequencies. 
That's it. No! No, 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 not this fucking time, no fucking way, no fucking way, no fucking way, no fucking way, no fucking way.